Hello YouTube, this is Sai, and today I'm going to be showing you a component of a circuit that I'm building. I'm going to need quite a lot of these. It's rather large, as you can see, this is a 64-bit circular barrel shifter. So it will take input bits on the blue, shift them by any number from 0 to 63 steps, and if they wrap over the output side on the left side, they will come back around to the input, or to the start on the right side. So if we were to take a bit, say the fourth bit, and turn it on, you can see the path goes all the way through, straight through, and it will only light up the fourth bit at the end. And if we were to shift it, over by changing the levers over here. These will use a set of multiplexers on each of these rows. You can shift by 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32 spaces, sorry about the bird, to get a total of up to 63 shift positions. So if we shift by one position, you'll see that now the fifth set is lit. And likewise, if we keep shifting by more and more positions, it will shift further and further. So we shifted by 33. It's over here. And I have checked it. It does work properly for every different position. And then if we want to lag the heck out of my computer, we can hit all of these. There is quite a bit of delay because the circuit's so large, which is unfortunate, but I'm not all that good with redstone, so it's everything I can do just to make it. So when it's shifted by 63, you can see that that fourth output comes back, or fourth input comes back and gives us the third output, just as we expect. So I'm going to be combining a bunch of these and along with some 64-bit full adders and a couple of 64-bit XOR gates um, to make a nice little circuit. Um, overall, it was an interesting project. I certainly got a bit better at redstone from doing it. I was terrible when I started. And I have to thank Proper English for the initial design of this barrel shifter. This row and this row are basically using his design. And then after that, I realized for a circular shifter, it was easier to split the um, shift vertically. And in doing so, I could have only one rail to power the shifters instead of two rails like this. And then the return rows are these two, one, two, four, eight, sixteen and 32. These are just our control lines that go to power the pistons, that go to the multiplexers, and of course all of the stuff in black is where the inputs for each stage split off and go to their corresponding multiplexer. Um, so as you can see, this one splits over here and goes left by 32 positions all the way over. And since the uh, input to, for the shift is on, this multiplexer is down, it shifts it out. Since this is beyond the end, there's no secondary input, it shifts it up here into the big return shift line and comes along all the way back down to the third position at the very beginning. And of course this could be compacted if somebody who was better at redstone wanted to make something like this, but I'm still learning and I'm better at the digital logic aspect than I am at the actual redstone, so my circuit ended up a little bit larger than intended. But it works, it's not too slow for my purposes, and hey, I managed to do it in Minecraft, so I think it's pretty cool.